Evanescence, Amy Lee, Talks, Favorite Corn Song, New Lineup, Future Music, and for us, the piece that we've been covering is specifically the lineup and the fact that they fired, all right, fired Jen Mahira uh, and, you know, replaced her with the longtime Evanescence bassist Tim McCord, Emma Anze now plays bass and she's from Sick Puppies and so they had this whole change but where the rub came in is that whereas you know Evanescence Amy Lee had been posting you know we've decided just to go different directions we love her so much best of luck and Jen's like I didn't know this was gonna happen and then she went and did an interview which we covered but she went and did an interview and said I was so blindsided I was literally right. in my apartment packing for the tour that we were about to go on and then i got a call and she found out about it from the actual you know post and so she just goes it was just crazy and i felt just the, the rug had been ripped out from underneath me make sure that you check out um some of those other evanescence videos if you go into our you know videos and you just type in evanescence to search those out specifically um they're pretty interesting so we also talk about just you know, being a hired gun in a band. And when, you know, you've been doing it for many years and at some point you think you're going to be included as an official member of the band, but maybe you just kind of stay in hired gun and what's that mean? And when is it appropriate to ask for more money or like, you know, or ownership, just kind of knowing your place, Some, sometimes ownership. it's ownership in the music. I, uh, so, you know, I, I have mean, deals that I'm doing all the time for bands, even right now, uh, you know, these band members who are a part of these massive bands who are super successful, but someone owns it. Like, let's say it's a lead singer that owns the band or it's a record label that owns the band. And so they're basically just hired guns. And you see this a lot in different territories outside the United States, but in the United States as well. So anyway, now we have Amy Lee. She did this interview and she had a couple things to say. So we'll start with the... What'd she say? That we'll start with just that about? she loves corn and you know she referenced um and i remember do you guys remember the freak on freak on a leash duet that she did with corn at the mtv unplugged appearance Unplugged, yeah like for me mm, as a fan of corn as a fan of evanescence i loved that performance it was so epic but anyway it's been a hot minute since she has done anything with them, which is surprising to me. I know they took obviously a huge break, you know, as Evanescence, you know, the band, but in any case, they are back. So Korn Evanescence tour is August 16th through September 16th and various bands will be included, POD and more. Yeah. And uh, I guess Amy Lee said that her favorite Korn song is Falling Away From Me. I think that's a favorite for a no, lot that's of us. Yeah, it's a, it's a good it's a good cut. Also on that tour is Helmet. I don't want you to to miss the fact that Helmet is also on that tour, which is a very cool band. Um, but yeah, no, and and just to, you know, we 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 like to cover some of these artists when we can because we actually literally cover these artists. Um, so you know, uh, Miss Crystal has done her Evanescence cover of um, "Call Me When You're Sober," and we've also done a Corn cover of "Make Me Bad," which you could find on the Miss Crystal um, YouTube channel. We have videos there for it, but dark pop versions. But no, like I think it's I think this is a perfect tour. I think this is a perfect tour for Evanescence and Corn. I think it's a great way to see, you know, both of those bands to see people that are just kind of, you know, top in their field, really kind of doing their thing. Um, you know, but you know, yeah. So in this interview though, you know, she was talking about just what, you know, why a little bit about the departure of um of Jen. And she was like, you know, it's hard to explain what I'm saying without being specific. We all love Jen. We had a great time with Jen. Don't want to make it like anything negative there, but sometimes that chapter just ends. And when you feel that, you know that as a band and that you need to keep things going. That's how you keep your team, your band and everything healthy and moving in the way it's supposed all right, to so, move. So let me just go back to sometimes that chapter just ends and you feel that you know <laughs> that it's a band and you guys keep going. Yeah. I'm reading between the lines. There is someone who's been in bands. I've had bands for my project, Miss Crystal. I feel like she's saying, you know, kind of telling the story of, and I'm not saying this happened, you know, Jen seems like an amazing person, but, but almost like, you know, when a band member becomes uh, a negative kind of existence in the band and they're not right. showing up or right. they're, you know, they're not putting in the effort. And it's just someone who's like, still, you love them, they're family, they've been with you in this case for six years, but there's just something where they're now making this not a great experience for everyone else. And so they're like, we just need a fresh whatever and i kind of feel like that's what she's trying to say she's like i'm not trying to be negative about it, it just was like we were done like we yeah. need to move on 
and that's kind of anything that I've kind of heard come out of that camp is just like, you know, no, 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 no. Like, she's great. She's great. She's great. It's just like, uh, like, I don't want to, she does not, she doesn't want to like, like, you know, like, uh, hurt, hurt Jen's money in the future or who she's working with and something like that. You know what I mean? But she's just kind of like, eh. I don't know, man. She's just kind of, she was always like bitching about how hot it was when we'd go play right. shows. Right. Or, you know what I mean? Like, she's like, I don't know. Like every, she's always on the phone, like arguing with her significant other, you know, whoever. And like, or there's just a personality, you know, just person. I don't know. Like she, she keeps trying to throw these parts into the song and she's complaining because she's not writing. And I'm just like, Oh, like I don't want you to write. For me, some songs. I, I can say from my personal experience that um, negativity and people who complain for me over a long period of time, as much as you love someone and they become like a family member, those are the people that are the most poison is <laughs> in the band. And for me that it was just kind of non-negotiable after a period because you just can't have that energy in the band. You guys are already fighting the good fight and you're trying to be successful and fighting against the world and haters and all this stuff. And by the way, someone had said, uh, didn't Evanescence cover Corn? Yes, Evanescence did Thoughtless. I almost did Thoughtless as a cover. I ended up doing Make Me Bad. Oh, that's right. That's right. That was the, <laughs> that was the first one. That was the first one. Yeah, yeah so I, could, I, I covered I, I Corn as well. <laughs> I did a terrible job on the production. I'm not thoughtless. <laughs> I know, but you thought you did. You thought you you weren't loving "Make Me Bad" and "Make Me Bad" is still like one of my top songs on Spotify. You guys love that cover. No, sometimes, and and that's a thing for producers too. Is like sometimes, like you really just have no idea. I mean, there's songs that we have done that, um, you know, I'll, I'll, like even we did when we did "Save Yourself" when we first released "Save Yourself." Like now, I absolutely love that song. I love it when we perform it. I think it's one of our strongest songs. But like when we were sending it off to the mixer, I was just like, Ugh. like, I, like, I just, I wasn't really feeling that song. There was something about it that I didn't, I wasn't really feeling. Um, but I had no idea. And it was, it's one of our most popular songs. It's one that people really know us from. And, and I've actually really grown to like it. So I'll, you yeah, never no, really know. I love that song. So this, this um, comment from Rick, do you know if this is accurate or not? So I would think that this is true, but I also would think this wasn't true, right? Because for a lot of artists earlier in their career, they get screwed. And they signed the bad deals and they don't own anything. But I wouldn't be surprised if he had maybe purchased back his masters. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. that. I, I would like to look. I would like to look into that. I love the coop. We've seen the coop. He's We've the seen best. The coop live. He love. is amazing. He's so good. Like you could just so be like, oh, good. he's 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 a little older now. No, he he slays. He has the no. twenty year olds mm -hmm. up on the stage with him, and he's just slaying. He's incredible. Yes, this love this collaboration. Um, and they've toured, I think they just finished a tour together as well. Recently they tour together all the time. Anything that they do together is great. It makes so much sense, you know, collectively. And they are just like two strong, badass women. So I love seeing that. All right, let's get caught up here. But I am excited. I am excited to see what Evanescence is up to though. Um, I know they've had, you know, it, 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 we we also covered a great interview that Amy Lee did talking about like kind of like the the beginnings of Evanescence um, and the history between uh, behind the Bring Me to Life and just kind of like her battles with the record label and just going back and forth and how they were like kind of like dropped and like ah come on back and when you have to when you have to kind of like swallow your ego when you got to kind of just make art sacrifices and all kinds of stuff so make sure that you check that video out on the channel as well it's re it's a really good video really good video yeah seen the interview yeah guys so we'll we'll as always we love you know covering evanescence um and basically you know a lot of those bands in that genre any excuse to do it yeah so we had to just kind of touch on this just because she had specifically given a commentary about it so we'll continue to cover it